Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a better evening than we are here in Pittsburgh. It's 50 degrees and heavy rain. But we have the great pleasure of having Hubert back with us. It's been quite a while, and we always like, we've always kind of worked together because his is just common sense information, and it's always good stuff. So, Hubert, welcome back. We're anxious to see your information tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Let's see if we're all on the same page here. I haven't used um, this software in a while, so I may have a few hiccups. So, excuse me, I'm not the most technical savvy guy in the world so audio should be working if you guys can hear me just give me yeses in the chat box and you should see a slide that says my secret weapon for finding better trades so it's basically ichimoku all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go through these slides and then i'm also going to scan with you tonight and show you how to do this homework how i find better trades for me to take and it's a great compliment to candlesticks and there's a lot of candlestick out there, uh, candlestick guys out there but steven is the best like you've You've got a couple of other guys that are out there, but their stuff is just too confusing to understand. And I like the way Stephen breaks it down. So this will complement what you guys already use, okay? Because it's meant to be used with candlesticks. So let's take a look at these slides. So first, I'm going to go through uh, uh, a disclaimer. And this is my no bullshit guarantee. I cannot and I will not make you any guarantee whatsoever. There's no such thing as a guarantee in any financial markets that I've ever been a part of. My results are not typical. I've been trading for about 30 plus years. I would either have to be a glutton for punishment or pick up a few things, there, uh, a, a trick or two there. Also, I do not verify testimonials that people send me via email, so you should consider that their performance and results are not typical. Most people lose money trading and investing. So if you understand the disclaimer that I just read to you, Type in the number 11, two ones, just the number 11, and that way you'll agree to this little disclaimer that I use to legally, legally cover my rear end, right? Now, I used to be registered. I used to be a Series 3 and a Series 30. I used to be an introducing futures brokerage firm. I'm no longer in that business because it's so competitive and the margins are razor thin. But you'll hear me say, potentially, I will never guarantee you anything because I can't, and you know I can't. Um, but... Uh, it is required that I make you aware of CT, CFTC Rule 4.1. You should never trade more money than you can afford to lose. And then also, uh, my past performance is not indicative of future returns, which is a fancy way of saying just because I made money today or yesterday does not mean I will make it tomorrow, next week, next month, or next year. Now, if you understand that disclaimer, Type in the number 15 in the chat box for me, and we'll start moving on this thing. All right, my name is Hubert Sinners, and I'm known to have like a no BS approach to trading and investing. And there's really only like three things that I'm decent at. I'm a decent trader and investor. I'm a decent startup investor. I do a lot of angel investing, and I'm halfway decent at, uh, I would say, average at all those. And I'm average at running businesses. So those are what I'm going to, if you want to talk about sports or to politics or religion i'm not your dude i don't know anything about this stuff all right so we're going to get started so when i started i grew up in the uh, royal uh royal part of eastern kentucky in the coal mines and i didn't have a whole lot of good role models now both my mother and my father were factory workers at a company called american standard i, I am pretty good at bourbon though i am good at some woodford reserve i live in woodford county where woodford is distilled now, when I was growing up, I didn't have a ton of really good mo role models. I did have some opportunities that I could have got into. I could have went into the coal mines, but I was like, I don't want to spend my life under under the ground next to water and electricity. It just didn't sound like a great way to spend time. Could have went into, back in the day, we used to call it the weed business. Now they call it the cannabis business. I could have went into the growth, distribution, or sales of that. I was like, that's a terrible idea. Could have went into the good old-fashioned meth business. Uh, either the cooking, the distribution, or the sales. And I was like, nah, sounds like a terrible idea. Or could have went into the good old-fashioned moonshine business. All three of these will land you in a first-class sale in the federal penitentiary fighting over who's going to get the top bunk and who's going to get the bottom bunk. I decided I didn't want to do that, so I got the heck out of, out of uh, uh, eastern Kentucky, and I went on a quest to figure out how to make cash. And what I did is I either volunteered for these people on these pictures, I work for them or they work for me, 
or I gave their money to charities. And what I found is there were three really good ways to generate cash flow in America. One, you could either trade and or invest, which we were going to talk about tonight. You could start up your own business, B-I-Z, or you could invest in other people's businesses. I've done th those two. Or you could invest in real estate. And every multimillionaire and a couple billionaires that I have met all do either one of these or a combination of those three. So I would recommend that if you're trying to figure out how to make cash, stick to those. Those are the main ones. All right. All right. So congratulations. You're in the right place at the right time. And here's why. If you're a fan of candlestick charting, then I'm going to show you a new opportunity to take your trading to the next level. All right. Now you'll be able to potentially do stuff like this, be able to get in PayPal and write it up here from, you know, 252 up to 28, 298. And these are all just canned ones that I've found and recommended to our subscribers or I've taken on my own. You might be able to catch Tesla from here to there. And I'm going to show you all this stuff. So this PowerPoint is a canned presentation. And I'm just showing you winners here, but I'm going to actually scan the markets with you at the end of this webinar, and we're going to do our homework together. I've already done my homework, so it's already done, but I'm going to walk you through how I do that and how I approach the market where I find what markets I'm going to focus on, long or short, and which ones I'm going to avoid. So by the end of this thing, you'll have a decent watch list. All right? Could have caught Under Armour at 15 up to 19. Could have caught a Shopify from 11.25 up to 14.53. Uh, CTHR from a buck 40 up to about uh, 235. Uh, CPSH from six up to 24. Uh, that's a potential trade. So what does this work on? This works on uh, stocks, options, futures, Forex, bonds, and cryptos. It works on all of those. All right. Stocks, options, futures, forex, bonds, gold, commodities, and crypto. Now, it works on some things a little bit better than others, so as it is important for you to know that. Now, what we're going to go through here is we're going to go through, we might, there we go, what time frame. Uh, it, it's, it's actively good for day traders, it's good for swing traders, and it's good for longer-term investors. So all the time frames are covered. Now, this webinar is going to be a little bit different, but in a good way. I love to mess around and have fun because, you know, heads up, we're not, nobody gets out of this thing alive, so I like to have a little fun while we're here. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the back-tested results and how I got into Ichimoku. So anytime I have an idea of something to do, I always send it off to my, my data scientist or my back-testers and go, hey, does this thing even work? And they'll come back and they'll tell me, like, all right, on the stocks and the index, it worked on 430 out of 500, so it had about an 80% success ratio on the S&P 500. Now, you would have got a 33% return if you take every single trade, but if you use a little bit of common sense and filter out the, the counter trend trades, you can increase that from 33% to 79% just by using a three-day confirmation or a three-bar confirmation. And all that means is if you've got a massive uptrend like this right here, I don't want you shorting that until that uptrend has been violated, and that'll increase your potential profit from 33 up to 79%. All right. Now, it's been profitable on 29 currencies over the last 10 years using a daily, hourly, and a 10-minute time frame. You do have to use those multi-time frame analysis together in order to find the really good trades, but we'll start with one time frame at, at the beginning. So now this is the most important slide in this presentation. If I lose you here, I'm going to lose you for the rest of it. So pay attention on this one uh, really clear. So if you're looking at a daily chart, look, if you're looking at a daily chart, then our time horizon for this is going to be weeks. In other words, 20 days. One month of trading is 20 days. If you're looking at an hourly chart, we're going to be in that chart, that trade for days. We're going to hold for a minimum of three days. We could hold lower or longer, depending on what the trade's doing. And then if I'm looking at a 10-minute time frame, I'm going to hold it for about four hours. So daily, hourly, and 10 minutes, does this make sense to you? Because I want to make sure it makes sense before I go any further. Because this is one of the key components of this strategy, knowing how to effectively use, use the time frames. Daily chart, we're going to hold it for 20 days. Hourly, we're going to hold it for three days. 10-minute, we're going to hold it for about four hours. Now, you can go down this smaller time frame, or you can go up higher. There's nothing wrong with it. These are just my favorite time frames that I like to use. You can use whatever you want to use. 
All right, so this is what you want. This is the number one technique used in Japan in the number one best-selling book. You're going to know exactly what's happening in seconds. It's designed to produce very clear signals. Okay? Now, this is the edge for you now. You've probably looked at some indicators that will tell you what happened in the past, as useful as that is not. Uh, you, some of you might have some indicators that work in the present time, telling you what the price action is doing right now. There's very few effective that will predict for you with an algorithm what might potentially happen in the future. And Ichimoku is one of them. So is Fibonacci, and so is Elliott Wave. So we're going to talk about Ichimoku tonight, and we're first going to learn how to use this thing. So you should see a black chart with a blue ribbon going through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to crawl, walk, run. So this little blue thing is called the cloud. Everybody just type in the chat box really quickly, and you'll learn this stuff better. Just type the word cloud. And the main theme of the cloud is if whatever you're trading is above said cloud, well, you want to get long that thing, okay? If the price action is below the cloud, well, then you're going to want to get short that thing, okay? It's also going to act like a real-time support, like a nice little fluffy pillow or a mini trampoline. Fluffy pillow, trampoline, trampoline, trampoline. Now, there's always going to be a period when it goes from above the cloud to below the cloud, but as long as we're above it, we're okay, and we're going to stay long. Now, the second thing that you're going to learn is called the turning line. So we've got the cloud here. Everybody type turning line for the T. Turning line is like a fast-moving average. Cannot see a black background, especially blue. Well, let me see if I can change the color of this ink real quick. I don't know how to do that. Is there a way to change the color? Let me see. Sorry about that. I don't know how to change it, folks. All right. So turning line is the fast-moving average. So if it breaks the turning line, this is going to be a touch-and-go situation. All right? Touch-and-go situ situation. And then the next one is going to be the standard line. And it's going to be that purple one. So we've got the cloud, we've got the turning line, we've got the standard line. If it breaks the yellow, it's going to go to the purple, and then it'll bounce off the purple. So this is support, that's support, top of the cloud support, and bottom of the cloud is support. If those get broken and then we spend three days below the cloud, that's going to be a brand new short setup for us. And the last thing you got to learn is called the lagging line. Lagging line, cloud turning line, and then standard line. This is what's happened in the past. This is what's happening right now. And this is pr probably what's going to happen in the future. This is why this indicator is so powerful and so easy to use. It can potentially cut about three years off your learning curve on your journey to be professional traders. So let's talk about some of the Ichimoku signals. Lagging line crossing the cloud. Price crossing the cloud. Price and lagging line touching the cloud. The cloud spans crossing. The turning line crossing the standard line. These are all decent signals. Now, the first one that we're going to talk about, and we're going to skip ahead right here to the bullish signals, is the price above the cloud are bullish if, the, if they're above the cloud and then they go into the cloud. The lagging line crossing the cloud is the main signal of trend change. Price crossing the cloud is earlier. It's an earlier signal, but it's less reliable uh, for a, a trend change that's about to happen. And the price on the lagging line will often find support at the cloud's edges. And then cloud spans crossing may be a sign that the trend is changing. Be on the lookout for thick clouds after a run-up, which could mean that the trend is about to change. Now, the bearish signals are going to be the exact opposite. I'm going to cover those real quick. Price below the cloud, bearish. Price in the clouds are bearish if they come from the bottom side of the cloud. Lagging line crossing the cloud is the main signal of trend change, although it's slow. Price crossing the cloud is an earlier but less reliable warning of trend change. That's the one we're going to scan for tonight. Price in the lagging line will often find resistance at the cloud's edges. Cloud spans crossing may be a sign that the trend is changing. And then be on the lookout for thick clouds after a run, which could mean that the trend is in danger of reversing on you. So the first one that you're going to actually scan for is going to be, once again, our time frame selection, multi-time frame analysis. I'm going to have to probably back up one slide, make sure that we understand what we're doing here. Let me go back one slide. I skipped one on this. 
and then we'll scan this sucker in real time for us. Okay. Come on, Omnovi. I know you can do it. Come on. All right, here we go. Here's what you're looking for, okay? You're looking for one, two, or three bars below the cloud. One is going to equal an aggressive move. Two bars is like a moderate move, and three bars is a conservative move. So you're going to wait for one, two, three bars below the cloud. So that would get you short about 640 to 620. And then you're going to wait for one, two, three bars above the cloud. That's going to get you to cover at 490 to 480. So you've got a big piece of that move. Now, notice I didn't say that you're going to short it up here and you're going to cover it down here because that stuff is damn near impossible to pull off. I've been trading for 30 plus years and I think I've done it maybe six times and not all of them on purpose. Some of them were just pure luck. Like, oh, look at there. Got the, got the low tick of the day. That's the one we're going to scan for, okay? Now, you can do one, two, or three bars. We'll scan for one bar because it's easy for everybody to do that really quick, okay? Let me now forward my slide presentation. What are the blue, red, and what are the blue, red, and green lines? Same thing as they were earlier. And I'll go through it. I'll, I'll open up TradeStation here in just a second, and we'll do some live scan. This is, I think, about to hit you with some live scan. Yep, let me see. I'm going to go, oh, trade setup. All right, cool. Let's go to sharing, and I'm going to share my screen with you all real quick. Can you all see my trade station? Just give me a yes or a no. Good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through what I'm looking at. All right. Now, I know that is a quick lesson, but you don't need to know a, a huge amount of information in order to scan for Ichimoku, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm now going to go through I'm going to take off some of these other indicators that I got just so they won't confuse you. So we're going to status that one off. I'm going to take off the power shift. I'll status that one off. And we'll just use old Ichimoku, okay? And we're going to use it. First, let's go through this on, let's go through at NQ, all right, the NASDAQ. And we're going to go through, and I'm going to quiz you real quick on what you just learned. So on a daily time frame, clearly the NASDAQ is below the cloud and going lower. Once it broke the bottom of the cloud, how many days is it probably going to move to the low side on a daily chart? Y'all remember from the notes? How many days? About 20. On a daily chart, about 20 to the downside. Now, on a 60-minute move, like this is below the cloud, how many days will this continue below the cloud? A 60-minute? Three days. And then a 10-minute, a 10-minute will spend at least Four hours below the cloud. Now, this one's getting a little bit long in the tooth. It's spending more time than, than four hours down there, but that's a good thing, okay? So that's how you use the multi-time and frame analysis. If you're more of a, a mid to longer-term swing trade, use the daily chart. If you're more of a, a small swing trader, use the 60-minute. And if you're a day trader, use the 10-minute, all right? So let's now go through Bitcoin. So why is Bitcoin, notice that I hit bounced off the bottom of the cloud and, and went below the turning line? Next place Bitcoin's going to go is 39,388 because the hourly cloud is a sell signal. And then what about Ethereum? If I look at at ETH, Ethereum, up here. Ethereum is below the cloud, just broke back below the turning line. The hourly is a sell signal, so the next target for Ethereum is going to be 100. So this is the homework that I do every day after the market. S&P 500, sell signal. Sell signal, target, 4,300. All right, what about the Nikkei? Nikkei, target, 2,650. What about the NASDAQ? NASDAQ target, these lows, 13,752. The Russell, Russell's actually halfway strong. I would avoid this one right now. The NASDAQ is weaker, so I would focus on the NASDAQ short. Now, let's take a look at the YM. YM is also weak and it's got an hourly sell signal, so we've got two time frames working it with us. So next target will be like 33,000. Now let's go to the Euro Stocks 50. It's a little bit harder. It's not as not as pretty to the eye. I would leave this one alone. I would leave that alone. And then let's take a look at the DAX. That's also a little messy. I would leave that one alone. Now the Bund. This is interesting. So currently I am longer term short the Bund, but I am short-term, long it. So longer-term, I'm short. Short-term, I'm long. Does that make sense? Swing trade, I'm short. Intraday for two to three days, I'm long, okay? This is probably going to bounce to 167.71.
And then on the 30 year, the 30 year, I am currently short this on a swing trade, but I'm also hedging long because I'm in a 60 minute. Let me show you what I mean by that. So in the 30 year bond right here, I am up $10,000 on this trade because I'm short a one contract in the 30 year bond, but it's bouncing. So to take advantage of that bounce to the high side, I'm currently long the 10 year contract to offset that with a little bit of a hedge. Now heads up, I'm also still short the 10 year note. So I'm up about five grand on that one and I'm up about 11,000 on that one, right? That's kind of how that stuff works. So then if we go back to the 30 year below the cloud, above the cloud, it's going to bounce up to about 153.20. All right. Now let's take a look at look here. Now gold has finally started to come around. Gold has been a nightmare to trade for the past year or so because it's lost its mind. And now technically it's starting to make sense. It should be going up 12 to 22 points a day based upon higher interest rates, higher inflation, and the war with Russia and, oh, where are they right now? What is it called? Oh, Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. So this is going to go to about 2,000, okay? And notice the hourly signal cued you off to this. There's an hourly buy signal. There's one day and there's a half a day. So it's got at least another day of run in it. If you look at copper, copper is just a, Eh, leave me alone. If we look at platinum, platinum looks good. Probably going to go to about 1150, 1150. And then if we look at crude oil, why do you think we recommended that our members buy crude oil down here at 75? Yeah, because it went above the cloud. Heads up, we also recommended they get long back here when it was right here at about 40 to 45 because it went back above the cloud via some USO as an ETF because you can't hold gold futures that long, or I see uh, crude oil futures that long. So this looks good. It's probably going to go to 110 to 120. And then we look at the meat markets. Let's go feeder cattle, eh, live, uh, uh, live cattle, okay. Uh, lean hogs. Oh, lean hogs looks way better. Target 115. Uh, wheat is just a leave me alone. It's in the cloud. Just leave me alone for a second. Bean oil looks fantastic. Next target, 70. Uh, corn, next target 672. Oats is just a meh, just leave it alone for a minute. Rough rice, I'm not a huge fan of the contract, so I'm going to leave that alone. Soybeans is a long with a target of 1734 and two eights. And then soy meal, uh, yeah, oil 110 to 120. Uh, soy meal will probably go up to about 500. And then if you look at the soft, sugar is a short down to about 1750. Cocoa is a short down to about 2,600. Uh, cotton is probably going to drift back to 115 because it's below the standard line. Coffee is going to go to 274. And then OJ is going to, I'm waiting for a buy signal. I need this hourly to jump up above this cloud at 140 in order to get long there. So then what I do is I come down here and I go like this in trade station. I just scan over and I go like this. I double left click and it goes, ooh. New below the cloud. Look at there. There's a fresh new sell signal. See how I did that? Now, not all software will do this. Trade Station, Wealth Charts is a good one. Um, new below the cloud, and then go ALB. Ooh, look at there. New below the cloud. So that's one of our favorite shorts. And what I do in my homework is I do this for my subscribers right here. I give them a list of my of the new longs and the new shorts, and then I highlight the favorites in green. These would be my favorite longs. These would be my favorite shorts. And then, then they can trade them the next day for that. Do you enter on a pullback? Depends on what I'm trying to do. If I'm just doing a, a fresh trade, no, I would just trade it, right? NinjaTrader doesn't have the cloud. Uh, you can search a couple of forums. NinjaTrader has, uh, I think it's a big Mox form or something like that has it. And then a couple other people, you can buy the Ichimoku cloud for Ninja. I don't think it's very much. Maybe like 30, 40, 50 bucks, something like that. Uh, but there's ways to acquire it and, 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 and install it in Ninja. So then you got AMP here. All right, boom, look at there. There's another short. Bank of America, boom, another short. BK, another short. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Right there, it's going to go to 54. And then go CMI. So then what I do is I grab all these, and I, I figure out which one's my favorite long and my favorite short, and then I look at my favorite longs. I go CPB, eh, DTE, that's okay. GIS, not bad. PG, Procter & Gamble, looks pretty good, 165. And I always have a list of longs that I'm willing to play with and shorts that I'm willing to play with, right? So here's a list of longs that I'm going to entertain tomorrow. And then here's a list of shorts that I'm going to entertain tomorrow. And then I will just cheat because I got my sheet 
So I'm going to show you my favorite longs and shorts really quick for tomorrow. Favorite longs, gold, all right? P X P or B X P. Sorry, I can't talk. All right, D R I D R I is no, that's wrong. Hold on. Long. That one's correct. That is a short, not a long, folks. All right. I gotta fix that one. Okay. H K F. There we go. K H K H C. There we go. All right. Time. Time. Target forty dollars. Sorry, guys. I'm dyslexic. Excuse me there for a minute. P and G. Favorite long. Target one sixty five. Next one is C. Target one seventy. And then Schmuckers. Target 145. And then on the short side, I'm going to be looking at this tomorrow. Be looking at shorting the OIBN. Look at that bad boy right there. Also, this is the favorite right here, ALB. That thing will probably melt to about 160. I also like AMP with a target of 280. I like BK with a target of 54. And if I got any other, look at my research here, my little cheat sheet. I did IBM. Ooh, Morgan Stanley was falling apart. Nice little sell down to about 94. And then you got NTRS, target 110. And then last but not least, a little PSA with a target of 320. I know I handled a lot of stuff really quick. How are you picking these targets so quickly? What I do, uh, chart not fully on screen. Uh, there should be a way that you guys can maximize that, I think. Uh, I'm just sharing it with you, but you guys should be able to maximize it. Uh, I, I come up with the targets like really quickly because I'm looking at the risk to reward ratios that I'm willing to take on that trade. So an example, let's say it's coffee. If I'm long in this area, then my next target is going to be 174. I figure out what my risk is for the trade. Okay. It's uh so guys saying use the middle icon in the top left, guys. The middle icon in the top left. Uh, zoom too much table uh, table <laughs> table taking space got you right. so that's how I do this stuff and I do it every day after the close to find myself and my subscribers really good trades to take the next day and I highly recommend that you make your own list of a hot list of new longs and new shorts and just scan the markets for that most platforms have this scanning functionality if you don't I'll do the scans for you and stuff like that if you're a member Let's get back to here, and then I'll let you guys ask as many questions as you want. So I'm going to go back to slides. So we covered some trade setups and how to find them, and I looked at some live charts. So let's talk about who this is for, and then I'll spend the rest of the time with you guys looking at some charts, and I'll, I'll make you some, uh, some general recommendations of whether I think it's going higher or lower. You started saying how you use uh, your risk and didn't finish saying it, Oh, the risk reward ratios. Uh, let, let's go an example of, give me something that's going up. Let's go at GC. So if I was doing it like this, I would say, let's say I'm getting long gold at 1900. Okay. Well, I know if I'm going to risk about this much right here in gold, right? And this is one box of risk. And then for me, I need to make at least a three to one or a five to one risk reward ratio. So if I'm risking that much, one, two, three, four, five, and my first target, if I'm doing risk and one to make five, is about 1974. So what I'm doing is I'm just showing that, I'm sorry, I need to share the screen. Here you go. Now I'm back on screen share. Back on screen share. In this situation right here, I'm risking this amount of risk for that amount of potential. Okay? I am screen sharing. Correct. Got it? So I know it's a little confusing, but if I'm risking one, I want to make five. If that's my amount of risk, I'm just eyeballing that and doing that round figure in my head. That's how I'm able to just, I've been trading for 30 plus years, so I can just kind of eyeball about how much risk I would take and how much reward I'd need in order to take that trade on. Okay. All right. Let me hit you real quick with the rest of the PowerPoint, and then we'll spend the rest of the time uh, educating on what's going on. All right. So who is this for? If you're serious about making money in the real market, if you can follow a simple set of uh, rules and direction, if you know that your success is tied to taking action, well, then Ichimoku and you might be a good fit. All right? Here are some testimonials from people just like you that have used this. 
I've taken one trade. I've made over $900. I think I'm happy. I just entered the bond, shorted it again, where I took profits earlier today after you made me greedy for possible further drop. This is the first time I've had a successful trade during the course. I have the hardest head in the world. Couldn't have made it simpler. Here's another one from, who is this? I don't know who this is, but they said uh, they started tracking it with paper and toss and demo trading. They were up $5,340. It's neat that it's paper, but I'd rather see real accounts like this, right? Uh, for the first time ever, I'm consistently setting stop losses when I place the trade. I'm now up over 10,000 in 45 days using the simple approach of Ichimoku. System is, is very easy to use. So he no longer uses hope, think. It will probably come back, I wish. He just uses Ichimoku coupled with candlesticks and he's been able to make more money ten thousand dollars in about the last 45 days and then here's one uh, uh i particularly enjoyed uh last technical tuesday's evening session uh, i made over ninety six hundred dollars following the couple of days trading symbols that i would have no otherwise never known about so it only takes about 10 minutes for me to scan this every day and then spit out these trades to our subscribers so I do it once a week, a session like this right here that usually takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour because I scan all of them in front of everybody. I do my homework. I share my homework with my members. And then I let the members uh, hit me with questions and or symbols. So that's exactly what I'm going to let you guys do today. Too. So here's a fraction of what you'll learn. I'm going to give you seven of my favorite setups. I'm going to give you the trading rules and the indicator setting. I'm going to give you a checklist with cheat sheets, entries, and exits. Uh, the stop losses and the targets, how to scan the markets with Ichimoku, how to filter out the best trades so that you never guess what to do next, and then how to avoid head fakes. That is all included in the Ichimoku course. So here is your special offer, and then we'll spend the rest of the time just going over how to actually do this stuff, and I'll look at a lot of symbols with you. So currently right now, I sell this course on my website for $9.97. I'm going to do four live follow-up webinars just like this one. It'll take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to do uh, those, and we'll do scans together. And then if you want to jump in the live trading room, you can. If you don't, you don't have to, obviously. Uh, and then that's a grand total of $1,482. Your special offer for tonight's webinar is $497, and it's for the first 42 people, and all you have to do is go to hubertcenters.com forward slash cloud, hubertcenters.com forward slash cloud. I'm sure somebody will post that in there for you, and if they don't, I'll do it too real quick for you, and then let's go back over here and spend some time going through some symbols because I know you guys really are freaks just like me, and you want to talk about trading and stuff, not about uh, the course prices and stuff like that. So let's go back to the real world here for a second. I'm going to go back to screen sharing. Can everybody see my screen again? And then what I'm going to do is if you guys have any questions whatsoever, hit me with them. So hit me with the questions first. Uh, a link to today's recording should be emailed to the Candlestick Farm registrants uh, tomorrow. All right, cool. Uh, where does the target come from? I already got that one. And then if you guys want me to take a look at a symbol, just type in the symbol with all caps so I can read it. And then I will chart that bad boy for you, and I'll show you where I think it's potentially going. Uh, stop losses. Can you use a two-minute and a five-minute chart or tick chart? Yes, you can. Tesla, T-S-L-A. Tesla is a short with a target of $800. SPX, SPX is, let's just go ES. It's the same thing. ES is short with a target to $4,300. NVAX, N-V-A-X, N-V-A-X, short with a target of $50. T-W-L-O, Twillo. Short with a target of 150, 150. A M A Z. Uh, I can't do anything with that one. Uh, that's a penny. I just, and it's super thin. I can't do anything with that one. That's just too thin. That's a little bit too sketchy for my my blood. Sorry about that one. Okay, I have to resize this. You guys are hitting me with lots of symbols. All right. How do you show the Ichimoku, and can it show on other platforms other than traces? Yeah, most charting platforms out there uh, have a form of Ichimoku. It is a very standard indicator on all charting platforms. Uh, now, they may not have the scanning ability, so you might have to go through 4,000 charts to find the good ones, 
but there are like wealth charts has a really good scanner i helped them build that one uh trade station does uh toss has a good one so you can do all that with those platforms and then also in the course there's a free service that we recommend like if you don't have a good uh charting package we recommend a, a free service that we use for people that don't have really good charts um and we walk you through how to actually use that platform and you don't have to pay a dime for it and it's, it's a pretty good scan for it's only for day charts though it won't do intraday charts all right let me hit a couple more of these tlt went up today not expected uh tlt is um yeah it'll go up it's going up with the bonds and the notes so the bonds and the notes went up so they should be going up too it's really just a fear play on the russia thing right now s h a k s h a k is in the cloud on the daily above on the hourly it's got a better chance of going to 80 but when it's in the cloud like this i tend to just leave it alone until it breaks out of that cloud s b l k is a long signal with a target of about 35 dollars l c i d you see how quick you can do this when you get good at it the course is only about two and a half hours and after you take the course you guys can do this stuff this quick too this is a better long than short on the hourly. It's a little janky, though. It's either going to go to 36 or 15. I think it's got a better shot of going to 36. Apple, A-A-P-L. Apple is in the cloud on the daily, below the cloud on the hourly. Therefore, it's going to go to 165, 165. R-B-L-X. Bring this one over here so we can look at this better. It's a short with a target of 40. Net short, N-E-T. Net short target, $80, $80. NVIDIA, N-V-D-A. NVIDIA, short target, 220, 220. O-X-Y, long stop 3727, target 50. Uh, Q-D-E-L, Q-D-E-L. Oh, that's just a short. That's a short with a target of, oh, dear. Um, and it's probably gonna take out a close. Seventy-four forty, seventy-four forty. That will not happen. Uh, and heads up, don't don't kill the messenger guy. I'm just reading the charts. What I see. I W M the Russell two thousand target one ninety one ninety N O W a short with a target of five fifty, and then after that four eighty four eighty. All right, C R O X Crocs short with a target of nine dollars nine nine. Uh, e T S Y Etsy short with a target of a hundred dollars. A M Z N heads up on the long A M Z N heads up on the long term investor in Amazon. I've been in it since seventy five. I'm a little biased on this one. Uh, it is going to. Three zero two two, and then after that, twenty eight hundred bucks. ISPO, ISPO, that's just out of nowhere. I can't really do anything with that, folks. Uh, that just went from zero to hero. I mean, obviously it acts like it's going to go up, but these are just really, really hard to mess with. I would just say, I would caution you to be careful with those. SIG, short with a target of sixty eight bucks. Amazon, I already got that. PM, Philip Morris, Target 120, 120. Do you use Ichimoku for day trades, ES crude, say on a five-minute chart? Yeah, I use it on a 10-minute chart, but you can use it on smaller time frames perfectly. It works just fine on smaller time frames. Now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you more false positive signals because you're going to have a higher signal-to-noise ratio. Anytime you go super, super small time frames, it's going to be harder to pick out the good ones, right? But it still is very, very effective. Uh, SPY would just be the uh, short with the target of 431 and then 426. FIVN, short with a target of 100. GPL is, I can't do anything with penny stocks. I mean, it's a short. It's probably going to go to 16.6, 16 cents. LCID, Lucid, probably, I mean, it, it could either go, the hourly is still above, so I'm going to say it's going to go to 36, but it needs to it needs to get to work if it's going to head that direction. Struggling. All right, LPLA, LPLA. 
is a short with a target of 173. Now, you may be going, hey, dude, I thought you just said if it's above the cloud, be long. Yes, but we now have an hourly sell signal, which means it's going to drop for the next two days and tag that 173. Okay. Uh, USO is a long because of crude oil. Next target, 70 to $75. QS is a short with a target of 1376. EV, EVRG? EVRG target $60, and after that, probably $55. MARA target $20. VXX, it's in the cloud. You got to wait until it gets out of the cloud. It's a better long, probably goes to $25. SCHW in the cloud. It's a sell signal on the hourly, probably goes through the bottom of the cloud and goes to 80. Uh, I don't know what that one is. Uh, ABCL. ABCL. Short with a target of 773. AF. I got nothing for AF. AF. Oh, my charts don't like that. Uh, LSPD, short with a target of 20. Is IWM a short for tomorrow? IWM? Yeah, it's a short for tomorrow. Uh, it'll probably take out 199 and head its way towards 196. AFRM, short with a target of $20. H E A R. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Uh, if it fails here at the cloud, it'll go back down to 2023. You need an hourly sell signal. Wait for it to drop below 2192 and then target these lows at 1722, is what I would do. How long would you hold the trade using a four hour candle? Four hour chart? Well, if an hourly will last for four days, I would just multiply that times four. That's what I would do, Don. S and P, what, what's S and P H? What is that, Raymond? I'm, I'm not sure what you're asking, bro. Sorry. Uh, F L G T, F L G T, short with a target of $54. Uh, G O O G, short with a target of $2,500. X B I, is a short with a target of $84. Are you using non-standard settings on ET? No, I'm using standard settings. Uh, Caterpillar, all right, I'm getting closer. CAT is a short with a target of 190. WFC, Wells Fargo, some of the biggest crooks in the world. Uh, I would say short with a target of 53. Uh, DOCU, uh, short with a target of 100. ETRN, short with a target of 7. JETS, long with a target of 25. XLV, short with a target of 126. FSM, target $4. Do you use standard line? For stop, if so, do you often see a bounce and continuation and then expect a direct correction? I actually use the standard line for an entry instead of a stop. I don't do too much turning line trades. I, I like for it to pull back to the standard line and then go back up for a last little slingshot trade. So I like to trade. Gold, G-O-L-D. G-O-L-D, or you want the gold futures? Target, 26 to $28. SLV, silver, target $23, ADGI, probably lower, let's say $5. All right here, HMHC, long with a target of 22. How did you discover Ichimoku trading? I did an old school apprenticeship with a guy for about 18 months, and then the guy that taught him how to trade ran a, 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 a an entire floor of traders. And then one day he, he came in after I did an 18-month apprenticeship with another guy, and he goes, hey, you want me to show you how to really trade? And I was already pretty dialed in at that point. 
And then he goes, here, this is a better way to trade. And he's like, I back tested all kinds of stuff. He's like, this is in the top three of technical analysis trades that works for us. And then I just started digging deeper in it and stuff like that. So it was just, I got it passed down to me from another trader. And then I just started digging deeper and reading all the books and trying to educate myself on how to use it. That's how it came to be. XLE, uh, target 80 bucks, AXP, long target 220, ENPH, probably breaks these lows and goes back to 130-ish. Baba, Alibaba, is still a short, probably goes back through 31. Tesla, TSLA. Tesla is a short with a target of 800. APPS is a short and a target of $38. RDFN, short with a target of 20. QQQ, short with a target of 330. Uh, SMH, target 260. SPH. That's a tough read. It's just it's just kind of jumbled up, right? That one's a tough one. I, I I couldn't really give you a recommendation on that one. It's in the cloud on the hourly, and it's in the cloud on the daily. You just got to wait for that one. How long does your daily break through? How long does a daily break through the chart last? Usually twenty days or more. Twenty days or more. Uh huh. Uh, BMO. Uh, this would be a short with a target of a, a 112, 112. Explain again how you figure out the target. Okay, so let's say that uh, this one's pretty easy. It's probably just going to go to the cloud, right? So that's going to be easy, like 110, 112. It's probably going to go here somewhere. But if I didn't have the cloud to rely on, let's say that I was going to go G O. Let's go G O O G. Let's go W M T. Look up the cloud. Let's go AAPO. I'm trying to give you a good one that I'll give you an example of. Let's go DVA. DVA. All right, on this one, short, below the cloud. If I was going to risk about the top of the cloud, then I'm going to have to go about a three to one. So if this is one amount of risk right here, this is my amount of risk. If I short this thing right now, then I'm going to need about this much to be one to three that much to be one to five. So if I short that thing and that's my stop, that's the amount of risk that I'm willing to take. So I need to make risk one to make three to five. So I'm just rounding it in my head really quick. I'm just estimating about what I would need to go in order to make that work. That is what I'm doing. OSTX, oh no, it's a K, my bad. It's up, I'm dyslexic, so I'll mess some of these up. Uh, target $20. DWAC, DWAC, long with a target of 100, HUT, short with a target of $4.50, GTE, long with a target of a buck sixty. Do you trade options? I'm not really aggressive in the options market. I trade more stocks, both swing and day trade, and more futures, swing and day trade. I trade a lot of cryptos. Uh, I try to stay away from options. This is not my gig. Wonderful trading instruments. I just prefer that if I get the direction right, that I get paid. And in options, if you don't get the direction, you can get the direction right, but if you don't get the strike price, it's almost like they they penalize you for that. I don't like that. Uh, SBSW, SBSW, target $19. FCEL, target $4. MSI. Target 210. Did you say wait until it's broken out of three days before entering? You can do one, two, or three days, depending on how you, you like to risk things. Is the only study in the graph Ichimoku? Yeah, this is just Ichimoku. This is the cloud. That's the This is the turning line. That's the standard line. And that's the lagging line. How do you add Ichimoku to the charts? Something to pay or like for level three? No, it's free. It's free in TradeStation and almost every other trading platform out there. This is a free indicator. All you're going to do is you're just going to buy the course so I can teach you the proper use of the indicator, and then I'll scan the markets with you for four weeks in a row, and I'll give you my picks and my favorites. It is a free indicator. You don't have to buy anything other than the course.
and it's on damn near every chart chart plan for platform out there. Uh, okay, how do you get HMR target of thirty six HMHC or right, HMHC? Uh, how do all right, HMHC? All right, uh, did I say thirty six? I meant twenty six. HMHC would be a stop of 17. It should be 24 to 26 because that, that would give me about a 1 to 10 ratio. Uh, SHOP, Shopify. Short target would be 400. Roku, ROKU. Roku, target 100. Uh, HIVE. Uh, all right, HIVE, target mm, lows. 154, VIPS, long with the target of 1321, BOIL, in the cloud, therefore I can't help you, MOD, in the cloud, therefore I can't help you, but it's about to break out and go to 12. How long do these recommendations last and how long is the direction of the recommendation good for? Well, if it's a daily chart, it might take us 20 days to get there. Detail out Crocs, C-R-O-X. Croc, below the cloud on the daily, below the cloud on the hourly. It's going to get smoked. You have a little bit of support down here at 75. I would target that first. Uh, do you recommend Ichimoku for TC2000? I haven't used TC2000 since the early 90s, so I'm not sure. But I would assume they've got Ichimoku, and they could probably spit you out a scan for above or below the cloud if I was guessing. Ford is a short and a target of 16. PHUN is in the cloud, therefore I can't help you. Boeing is a better long than short. I would wait for the hourly to either go above the cloud or below the cloud. So on, so on Boeing, I would just wait for a second. I saw how you came up with the stop. Then you just multiply out the target. But how do you know if you'll get to the target? Oh, you don't know anything. You think you know anything about the markets? Like what, that, I can't guarantee you it'll go there. I'm, I just have to make sure that's the way my risk reward ratios are set up because I'm only right 45 to 65 percent of the time on my my um, win on my win loss ratio, right? So I have to have a good risk reward ratio of one to three, one to five, or one to ten in order for me to make money. I'm not one of these guys that say, "Well, I've got a trading setup that works 92 percent of the time." No, you don't. Or you'd be on a private island next to Branson somewhere, right? So I am right about 45 to 65% of the time. I use good risk-reward ratios in order to put the odds in my favor. People can go to Investopedia and get the settings. You could use that on any chart. Then you can get Hubert's course to learn how to use it. Yep, you can do that. Uh, let me see. ABT, ABT. I love this, guys, and I know you guys are huge candlestick fans. This is a really good compliment. It complements candlesticks perfectly. It is designed specifically to work with candlestick charts. Target 115 on Abbott. LLNW. Uh, long target $5. I really believe that if you use this, it can shave three years off of your experimentation on trying to figure out how to make profit. How do you get the HMH target of 26? I just take the risk reward ratio and multiply it. MARA. Target $20. AFRM, I already did this one, but target would be, I'm going to say like 15. I don't, I don't want to do this to a firm, but probably lower than 20 bucks. So is there a way to get a target aside from what the risk is? Yes, I teach it in the course, but it's really you got to figure out what your risk reward ratio is, or you can use Fibonacci's as a target, or you can use support and resistance. Those are all available to you. Are you primarily using the daily chart for the rapid fire assessment? Correct. Yeah, because I can't do it. I can't do all diff all three time frames on a live webinar like this. We'd be here for hours, and hours and hours. So I do it so I can do like a lightning round for you guys and help you out as much as I can. Please look at a lower time frame for scalping perspective. Any day trade? Yeah, FT, give me a symbol. What do you trade, bro? Tell me what you do and what you like to trade. What 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 what, what are you into? And I'll and tell me what time frame you want this sucker to be on, and I'll I'll let you look at it. Palantir, PLTR, is a short with a target of 10 bucks. Uh -huh. 
here is the link if you want to grab one of the courses and spend the next four weeks with me doing scans and picks. All right, Shopify, Scout Day Training. All right, what, uh, S-H-O-P, what time frame do you want that on, bro? I've got it set to a 10. What would you, what would you like? I would say this is a short, that's a short, and the 10-minute uh, nailed it today. As it got down below the cloud here and then below the cloud here, it just keeps on going lower. So just tell me what time frame you want, and I'll show you what it looks like. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, FT is deciding on what time frame. Let's do another one real quick here. DWAC, along with the target of 100. Uh, ES future scalp and day trade. At ES, yeah, FT, but what time frame do you want, bro? Here's the ES. It was short here, stayed down most of the day, and then went back to the cloud. Exactly where is the border of the cloud? The border of the cloud? Uh, exactly where is the border of the cloud is right here, top and bottom here. GLD, long with a target of 180 to 185. BE, this is going to be, it's going to drift back to 17. BP, BPT. BPT, long with a target of 12. QS, one hour. That's right over here. Short with a target of $15. Uh, your live webinars, are they recorded? Also, are your recommendations recorded? Yes. Live webinars are recorded, and you get a copy of this sheet right here that I share with you in real time. So when I update it, and I go updated, 217 at 655 p.m., You'll know it's updated. You'll know these are the new longs. These are the new shorts. The green ones are my favorite longs, and the red ones are my favorite shorts because there's no way we can all trade all of those things. But I pick the technical ones that look the best for you so it gives you an edge. What are the white and purple lines? Uh, the white and purple lines. The, the, the yellow line is the turning line. The purple line is the standard line. The white line is the lagging line, and this thing is called the cloud. What's the significance of a thicker cloud versus thinner? After a thick cloud, it tends to reverse. All right. R-I-O-T is a short with a target of $15. All right, guys. It is wrapping up here at 9 o'clock. Let me go back through what all y'all get with this thing. Ichimoku Cloud Charting Secrets course, $9.97. I'm going to do four live webinars, one a week for the next four weeks with you guys, okay? And then I'll throw you in the live trading room if you want to be in there. It's a grand total of $1,482. You can get it for $497 today if you're one of the first 42 people. If you go to hubertcenters.com forward slash cloud, or you can call our office at 859-963-3445. The price of lifetime access, I don't know. I'm sure there's probably an offer on there, but I don't know what the price is for lifetime access. You'd have to call them off. Uh, how is the white line pass line? Uh, useful. It's useful for the overall trend when the white line goes back below the cloud. It's move. It's usually a a significant more stronger downtrend. Uh, why do you wait? Why do you limit it to 42 members? I like to control the amount of attention that people get from us. I don't like taking like 300 orders and then not being able to fulfill it. So I like to do a controlled uh, experience with us. So if I've got too many people. I can't answer all their questions. Like right now, you guys got a 219 people in here. Just me doing the ticker symbols would take an hour, right? So I try to limit it to the amount of people. So we had last week, we had 42 people graduate on their fourth week. So I've got 40 new, 42 new spots open. That's why I do that. Do you, shy, do you share buy and sell recommendations and how does it look like? Yeah, I share buy and sell recommendations with a scans and pick sheet like this right here. When we scan the markets once a week, then you get access to this sheet. Um, so that's how that works. What is lifetime access? Lifetime access usually does it so that you can have lifetime access to the scans and the picks once a week instead of just four weeks. What are the ongoing monthly subscription costs after four weeks? Nothing. You, you don't have to buy any more if you don't want to. 
It is a one-time fee of $497, and then after four weeks, it just falls off unless you want to upgrade to lifetime access. So, so if I did a, a good job in the uh, last four weeks, re-up. If I didn't, just don't sign up again. Do you email picks? No, I do not. I, I, I give you, I don't have to email picks. When I update this thing, when it's shared with you, anything that I type in here, if I go, hey, you'll just see that in real time. So it's better than email. It's instantaneously when I update that thing. So you don't have to worry about getting an email. You just got to check that doc and you're good to go. Way better than email. Uh, yep. Uh, let me see here. All right. I think I got you all. All right. Give me, give me, a, give me a grade. Was it helpful? Useful? You think you can do it? What do y'all think? Uh, are picks posted on the website? Yes, it's posted in a members area. All right, cool, cool. Well, I'm glad you got a lot out of it. I know I talk fairly fast, and I got a thick Kentucky accent. Sometimes I'm hard to understand. Thankfully, I have not drank uh, any bourbon yet tonight. So I'm a huge fan of the Cloud Guys. I'm a huge fan of Stephen and Candlesticks. Uh, I hope you guys take uh, take me up on my offer. I'd love to see you in the members area. Uh, if not, I wish you all the best, and I hope you all kill 2022. And may you live in interesting times, the old Chinese proverb, because I think we can check that box. We lived through two pandemics, uh, now war, Russia, and and, uh, uh, and that other, uh, what was the country? I forgot already. So already is uh, interesting times, I know, right? It's crazy. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Hope it helps. Grab your link. Buy you a ticket. Hopefully, you'll, I'll see you uh, next Tuesday. The class is only about two and a half hours, and you'll go through the class and learn how I do this stuff, and then I'll see you next Tuesday, and we'll do these scans and picks. Thanks. Didn't show how to use candlesticks with Ichimoku. Oh, just use your just use your reversals with Ichimoku. Uh, I assume I'm not going to step on Stephen Toes. He is the master when it comes to candlesticks. Y'all got way more training. If you know how to use candlesticks, just combine candlesticks with the cloud and do that. I don't need to teach you all anything about candlesticks because you guys already know you have you have learned from the master for years. There's nothing I can teach you about candlesticks that you guys don't already know from from Stephen. He is the go-to guru for candlesticks. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Good luck. Hope it helps. I'll see you on the next one, and I appreciate you guys having me.